talk to you today a bit about um, how depression often make us sit difficult to just get motivated up off of the couch and be productive. We end up in a vicious cycle where we will talk negatively about ourselves, we're lazy, we're not a value to our family, we're horrible people, uh, we're, you know, like I said, we're lazy. Um, this doesn't do anything except feed that depression and make it even more difficult to get up off of the couch. Um, I have had that problem. The, today, for example, was very hard for me to get get up and get moving. But you know, it's it's a it's a constant struggle, constant struggle. But I did find a tool that that helped me to get motivated to do more um, around the house, even if it's just one more thing, just or one thing. It's it on days when it's really hard to get off the couch that one thing can really make me feel better and i'm hoping that this will help you too it's not really a new concept um it's basically time management um and i know i'm hearing some groans out there about it but it really will help and it only it only takes five steps so the first thing that you really need to do is you need to go out and you and you need to get a, a planner of some kind now here are some examples of planners that I've used. This was just a freebie pocket planner that I got from United Healthcare that has simple monthly planner, nothing special. Um, now this next one is a business type planner that I haven't used in forever, so I really don't have the inserts in it. But if you have something like this, feel free to use it. You can even make maybe your own insert pages to go in one that you, that you just have laying around. You don't feel like you have to run out and go buy a, a fancy planner. Um, this next one was one I got from Walmart or Target or one of those places. It was like four or five bucks, but it has the month like that. And then in between has the um, each day of the week where you can put in your chores for the week. And you can see in here where I've used it and you can see where I've, you know, checked stuff off of. So I've done it. So it was a nice little planner to use. Uh, finally, or not finally, but here we have a composition notebook and we have a spiral notebook where you can certainly just make up your own grids by hand or glue in printables that you've gotten online. Um, here's one that, uh, just a simple notebook that I got from the Dollar, Dollar Tree for a buck. Um, I printed out and glued in the full month and then in between I made up my own grid to put in for each day of the week and could write in my chores. I made hand, handmade little labels there for each month so I could easily flip to the next month to put in important dates. This is my faux dory that I made out of a table mat from the dollar store and scrapbook paper that I had laying around the house. I printed out a grid with the month um, and then I have in here each day um, of the week in, in between. This is so you can just make that part. The other parts are just blank paper that I've got included in here that I can take notes or draw. Um, but there you have it. So I've done each of the day of the week, I can draw in, write in what I want to do. And you don't have to have anything fancy to write with. These are just simple pens and pencils that I purchased at the dollar store. Step two is you need to make a list of five or six basic chores or tasks that are necessarily necessarily sorry that are necessary for the daily or weekly running of your household um these are things like doing the laundry going grocery shopping um, here's my list of five to six tasks grocery shop laundry clean the bathroom empty the dishwasher run the vac and dust to step three um now these step three is to pick a day of the week for each task one task per that per day now is the time to go ahead and take that list of five or six items and choose days of the week in which to get those done um, put one task per a day and then making sure to avoid putting more than one item on a day, at least at first, so you don't overwhelm yourself and then not do this at all. Um, we want to have a couple of days that we have nothing, just in case if we have a day where we just could not manage to even get that one task done, we can move it to an open day and or have a day we don't have anything so we can look forward to a day of no chores. Um, once you have the big items put in, then you can start thinking of maybe some smaller tasks uh, that maybe take five or ten minutes to perform. 
Uh, maybe you need to call your mom, make a doctor's appointment. Uh, maybe you have a bill that you know that needs to be paid that you can go ahead and write out that check and stick it out into the mailbox. Maybe it's just walking down to the mailbox and getting the mail for the day. Just simple items, again, that take only five to ten, five to ten minutes or less to perform. Uh, don't put any more than two to three of those on a day. And it's okay to have a day with none of those. And it's even okay to have a week where you don't put any of those in. All right, probably one of the most important things to do is to check off the things that you got done for the day. Your big item and then... Maybe one of the, maybe got one of the smaller items done, put a check mark next to it or put a strike through it. You may have been inspired to get some extra things done that you hadn't originally planned to do. Write those in and put a check mark next to them. The purpose of this is to provide you with a visual reward system so that you can see what it is you actually got done for the day. So it's important. Uh, make sure you put those lines in those checks. I will put um, a link in this video to um, a video that I watched that helped me put together a, um, a, a, what they call a traveler's journal. You don't have to put together a whole big traveler's journal, faux dory type of um, calendar or, or um, a planner. Uh, but it does show how you can organize the pages that you, you print out and so that it, it makes a co piece of sense um, in, in a book style. Um, so anyway, you've seen pictures of the one that I am using, so you can just use one of those little booklets that has the calendar in it. The other two are just basically for notes. They're blank pieces of paper. They're not, they don't have anything else in them. Um, and then I also will include links to a weekly and a monthly calendar grids that I put together that are very simple and basic. They have large blocks for the for the calendar, monthly cal calendar that you can write stuff in if you just want to do that. Um, and then there's a note, a place for, for notes for yourself. You know, that's where you can jot down. How did this work? How did it not work? Maybe you can put some a positive affirmation in there for, for the week or for the month. Um, so feel free to go ahead and, and download those for, for your use. Uh, but again, there's so many printables out online that are free. Uh, so don't, don't feel like you have to go out and learn how to use Excel or Google Sheets in order to create something for yourself or go to the dollar store. I mean, it's a buck. All right, so remember to be kind to yourself and Remember that you are an important and contributing member to your family. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe, please.